everyone, Mike Sherry here at Sherry Vans, and I've got a really unique find for you today. This is a 2011, it's a Ford Transit Connect. This is their smaller utility vehicle here. And it's been upfitted with the uh, rear entry wheelchair system. So we were the original sellers of this vehicle and uh, the customer since no longer able to use it. So uh, we are offering this again to you. It has not been used very hard at all. It has just over, or just under, I think, 7,300 miles. That's 7,300 miles. Uh, it has spot for one wheelchair, uh, plenty of height here, uh, and also a nice, gentle aluminum ramp that folds out. Nod skid surface on it. The ramp itself is 31 inches wide and comes in, and it's about 52 inches long. Just room enough for one wheelchair in here. It's got a, a rubber skid resistant floor. It does have your Q strand tie downs, and all four of them are here for your securement of your wheelchair. I got a spare tire there that can be removed with one bolt if that's in your way. Has all the seat belt here, uh, and your lap strap is right in here. So, all that's very nicely done. Uh, ATS is the converter on this. We partner with them for our new conversions. Uh, they do wrap their bumpers with a ceramic metal coated uh, wrap here. So if you do happen to be coming up here, maybe bump this with your chair, it's gonna protect that bumper. Uh, this ramp here uh, is a bifolding ramp. So it comes up real easy. There's two gas filled struts in there. I'm doing this all with one hand. And that ramp, try to catch a better view of that, that ramp folds down. That allows for the driver and passengers to be able to see out the back window. Now with the ramp up, it uh, rests against the ramp catch. That keeps the ramp in place uh, while the vehicle is going down the road. And then these latches keep it from rattling and just keep it secure. It's a very simple system. I'm six foot tall. I can fit underneath this. It's probably eight inches above my head, six to eight inches above my head with the lift gate there. This is the long wheelbase Transit Connect. So you got plenty of room there. And then there's an XLT as well. So you get a lot of nice equipment on. It's got the rear wiper, defrosting rear window. Just go ahead and go around the passenger side. Got parking sensors in the rear bumper that still work, even though they've been moved due to the cutout there for the ramp. Has sliding doors in the second row for on both sides. Seating for uh, four passengers plus one wheelchair for a total of five. I have this seat up in the upright position. It's factory seat. And then I have that one down in the fold down position so you can kind of see how they fold down. Now back here in the back, you do have heat and air conditioning controls for the passengers back here, as well as a 150 watt power inverter outlet and a 12 volt uh, normal DC power outlet. I love those sliding doors. It's nice. You don't have a swinging door that can possibly swing into the vehicle beside you and get a door ding. Now, the front of the vehicle hasn't been altered in any way. Front wheel drive. I believe they put the two liter inline four cylinder in this. Eight speed automatic transmission. They get 29 miles a gallon, I want to say, on the highway. Uh, this is an XLT, so you notice all the bumper and everything's painted. You don't see a lot of black plastic on it, uh, which is a nice add there. In 2021, just over 7,000 miles on it, tires and everything. We've got the wheels on it, alloy wheels, tires, you can see lots of tread. All right, let's take a peek inside here. So as we come in, it has a full power seat, spot for your umbrella right here. The seat itself is really good shape. Really not much negative. I don't see really anything negative on this vehicle. It's been taken care of. What should be in this new and little mile. Power locks, windows, and the side mirrors are power. Also in the side mirrors, there is the blind spot monitoring. So it's gonna let you know, hey, someone's in the blind spot of that vehicle. And I was just driving down this vehicle down the road for my test drive. And um, I, I'll admit it, I drive distractively. I was playing around with stuff up here, trying to figure it out. And I crossed the center line and the steering wheel started vibrating. So it's got the lane assist. And what happens is you get a little vibration uh, in the steering wheel and the little light comes on and say, hey, you're outside the lane. And it, I tell you what, it worked for me. So that's a nice safety feature. Automatic headlights, uh, has uh, buttons for volume tuning for the radio, as well as your hands-free connectivity for your phone. And then it does have cruise control down here. Steering wheel is a nice, uh, nice size and it's easy to grip. Uh, over here, it does have your touchscreen radio. I've got my phone plugged into the USB ports provided down here. 
And what's really cool about that, this has got Apple CarPlay, Android Auto. So that's where you see this real-time map up here for navigation. I can get my podcasts, all phone controls, voicemail, text messages, all that will pop up on this screen here. And then we'll go back to the Ford stuff. It's got AM, FM, Sirius Radio. Uh, does have... Oh, let me unplug my phone and just check one thing here. Looks like I got two text messages. <laughs> does have phone control and then uh, where you can add your phone. And let's see here. Let me put it in reverse. Yep, backup camera right there. Color backup camera. So all that seems to be working really good. Uh, spot right here. Yeah, this does. This has the wireless charger for your phone. So you put your phone in this slot right here, and if it's got wires, if your phone is capable to be wirelessly charged, it'll charge right there. That's a, another cool thing. Uh, dual uh, heat and air conditioning control. So you have driver, passenger, and actually you have rear zone. So there's three zones in this vehicle. Um, and then your eight speed automatic transmission. Here's where I have my phone plugged in and then uh, 12 volt power. I like to just put my phone there, it seemed to stay put. And then a couple beverage holders. I love in here, this is a small vehicle, but I bet there's a foot or more above my head here. You got this nice over cab storage up here and uh, just very roomy to drive. I can see why a lot of people like these. Uh, I did pull up the history report just so you uh, can look at it but uh yeah one owner like i said we were the original sellers uh no airbag or any uh, wrecks or anything like that on its record here and uh, shows really clean uh, we post these on our website there's six pages of this so make sure you look for that uh, always uh, if you like our content uh, subscribe to our page and uh, comment down below if you have any uh, particular thing to add to uh, we'd love to get the discussion going online if you have specific questions feel free to call in uh, uh, as well we've got contact information down below so uh, I didn't show you the dash here, but it's got 72,551 miles on it, 7251. No warning lights or anything like that on the dash. Uh, this being a 21 probably has a little bit of remainder of Ford warranty on it, so that's always good too. So um, financing, yeah, if you're interested in financing, we get that question a lot by our viewers. You know, I'm in Arizona, Mike, how do I go about financing this and buying this? Well, we've got a page for you, just look for that down in the description. So uh, I'm gonna turn this camera off and thanks for hanging with me. Uh, we'll see you soon. Bye-bye.